Spiral from the Book of Saw, of course, guys, is the continuation or spinoff of the Saw series. And uh, what I got to say about that, guys, even though there was a lot of buildup and hype around Spiral within the Saw community, me personally, I did not enjoy Spiral whatsoever. I did like the acting from, of course, Chris Rock, Samuel L. Jackson. I thought that the acting was certainly a step in the right direction. But I thought from a story perspective and kind of where it went... I did not like it whatsoever. It just felt like another step in the wrong direction from what we had in Jigsaw to now. And now we're kind of talking about, is there going to be a continuation of Spiral? So I want to talk about that, guys. Will there be a Spiral 2? Let's talk about it. In an article, guys, written by Emily Clute of Screen Rant, Spiral is the ninth film in the iconic Saw franchise. Here's what fans can expect from the next gory installment should Spiral 2 happen. So, Spiral from the Book of Saw gave fans of the long-running franchise a new take on the old classic. So, what can they expect from Spiral 2? So, so far, Spiral has received mixed reviews from critics, though most note that the film has the potential to rejuvenate a franchise that most horror buffs had accepted was complete. So, obviously, guys, the, it seems like a lot of you out there that watched this movie thought it was okay. It was You know, if you're a big Saw fan, you might have thought it was, it was a decent installment in the franchise or a good step in the right direction I felt that it was a step in the wrong direction now look guys here's the deal when it comes to movies video games whatever it may be it takes one movie to put you in the wrong direction with the franchise but then all it takes is one movie to bring you right back up to a really positive direction and I think something like that could certainly happen here should a spiral to happen so we also saw the return of director Darren Lynn Boozman, who has previously directed Saw 2 to 4. And I got to tell you guys, Darren Lynn Boozman, the Saw 2 to Saw 4, I thought were great. Some of the best ones actually in the franchise. I thought the first one, of course, was very iconic. James Wan, I believe the greatest horror director of all time. But Darren Lynn Boozman did a really good job kind of taking the helm from Saw 2 to Saw 4. I kind of wish he would have done all of them, you know, all the way to Saw 7, but he didn't, and that's okay. But Darren Lynn Boozman, I was really excited that he was the one helming this, and when it came out, I just thought it was the weakest of all the movies in the Saw series, um, and certainly the worst one that he had done uh, in this franchise as well. After a failed attempt to reboot the series with 2017's Jigsaw, fans were tentative to accept another attempt. Obviously, the film had been delayed, guys, um, an entire year, which only contributed to fan skepticism that the franchise would ever get a proper return. But with the star-studded cast and a unique approach to what made the original Saw movie iconic, Spiral has the potential for its own sequels. So, let's talk about will Spiral 2 happen? So, the chances, chances for a Spiral 2 are pretty high. Saw 10 has been listed as in development, though no official announcement has been made on the film so far. In a recent interview, star and producer Chris Rock hinted that he'd be open to a Spiral sequel, but that the fate of a sequel will rely on how well the first is received. Rock did say the film is open to a sequel and that another one wouldn't be out of the question. With mixed reviews from critics and mostly positive reviews from fans, as well as a fairly low budget, as is usual for horror films, Spiral 2 is pretty likely to happen. And I got to admit, yes, it had a fairly low budget. You can tell that they put a little bit more money into this one than they did in some of the other, you know, previous Saw movies. But that being said, it still was a low budget and it made some money for sure, guys. And you have a star, star studded cast. You've got, you know, there's a lot of question marks, especially around the ending of Spiral 1. So now you're kind of wondering, well, will we get a, a continuation? They definitely left it open ended. Let's put it that way. Very open ended that at the end of the movie, it's like, oh, yeah, they probably will make another one. And maybe there's an idea that they want to make this like the next generation of Saw movies. Certainly a possibility. And you know what, guys? I'd be open to it. Even though I didn't like Spiral 1, that doesn't mean that I wouldn't like a Spiral 2 or maybe the direction that they decide to go in. I just would really like to see certain changes, of course, to like the pacing, the tone, things of that nature to really make this a, you know, a, a better series, uh, you know, or sub-series in the overall franchise of Saw. 
So what would be the story details? So guys, some spoilers here. The end of Spiral leaves a lot of room for future story possibilities, with Will escaping unscathed at the end of the film. One likely sequel could follow Zeke Banks in his quest to take down the man responsible for his father's death. In an interview with Esquire, director Darren Lynn Boozman also teased the possibility that there are more institutions out there to take on in the Spiral sequels, including churches and Big Pharma. This setup opens up the potential for a cat and mouse game between Will and Zeke as Will makes his way through various corrupt institutions delivering his version of justice. So very interesting. Now what about the cast guys? So Spiral 2 would likely see returning cast members with Will surviving the first movie. It's likely that Max would return to repri reprise his role as the franchise's new villain. Chris Rock has already confirmed he would be interested in a sequel meaning his return for Spiral 2 is pretty fair bet. The Saw franchise is known for jumping through time and bringing actors back in flashbacks, so seeing Samuel L. Jackson return despite his death in Spiral wouldn't be a long shot. So, let's just like, let me take a second here just to kind of give you guys some of the things I would really like to see and what I wanted to see out of Spiral. I just really wish, guys, that we would have seen a continuation from the end of Saw 7. Obviously, we saw Dr. Gordon. He was behind it from the very beginning, and that was absolutely incredible. Just the, every, how everything went full circle, right? And I, I just loved it. It was, it was so mind blowing that it was like, wow, this character all you know comes <laughs> comes back all these movies later and kind of wraps it all up. And I thought that was awesome. I really wanted to see a continuation of you know everyone now knowing that Dr. Gordon was behind it, you know, for basically from the very beginning. See what direction it would go in that next. I would have really liked to see that. Um, Spiral obviously is is interesting, like a spinoff, but I would love to see you know Dr. Gordon come into the fray some way or another. Obviously, we've got more co jigsaw copycats, and that sometimes gets a little bit old when then you find out, oh, it's this person or that person, and it doesn't really, it's almost like, who is this person? I mean, we haven't seen this person in any of the previous installments. We kind of got this as well in Jigsaw when that came out in 2017. I just felt like this guy has been here all along, and they're just going to bring him into the fray in this movie it just a lot of times it kind of just felt it just felt forced and I felt like a lot of the stuff in Spiral felt a little bit forced as well and just a little bit it, it just didn't make a lot of sense it's like well where are these people coming from like where you know and that's the thing with Saw that made it so special was everything came full circle at the end of each movie and you're finding out more and more as the series progressed it was so much more than just a torture movie there was so much more behind it than that so much mystery and like a, a reason a method to the madness and I really hope in Spiral 2 we start kind of getting a little bit more full circle as far as the release date guys Spiral from the the Book of Saw had, had its U.S. theatrical release on May 14, 2021. The original Saw films released a year apart, meaning fans could be seeing Spiral 2 by next May if the reboots follow the old formula. However, with shooting schedules still affected and trying to catch up from, of course, the pandemic delays, a sequel may not release until later next year, should one be confirmed. So, let's talk about it. Um, as far as the release date goes, you know, it was interesting because Saw has always been a title that owned Halloween. It was like every year you're getting a new Saw movie and it's on, it's like around Halloween and it was just, it was awesome. I loved how it owned Halloween. Spiral is taking this form of like owning, you know, like May, you know, like the springtime. And it's kind of interesting. It's kind of weird how they're deciding to do it. Now, maybe it's because of the delays that they had. Maybe they had planned on doing it, you know, of course, you know, in October, but they just decided to release it in May because of the delays. Saw is, you know, so iconic and it was iconic for the release date to the movies to just everything guys, what it meant for the horror genre as a whole. I really want to see Spiral try to kind of do that as well, where it's like it wants to be something in this horror universe. I think that if it's in, from the book of Saw, it should be releasing the same time that the Saw movies released. Put it in October and, um, you know, really put your money where your mouth is. I mean, if you want this to be the next big thing in the Saw universe, you know, release it the same time that you would release the other Saw movies. Bring one out every single year, and let's see what happens. I think that there could be a lot of potential here, but we'll have to wait and see, and I'll be sure to give you guys more information as it comes out. Do you think we're going to get a Spiral 2, or do you think they should just leave the leave the Spiral, Book of Saw, or Idea, and all of that you know, to the wayside, maybe continue Saw in a different way? What do you guys think? 
Let me know in the comment section down below. And for more Spiral 2 content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.